Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dumbray again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited because I got something working that I've been working for the last few weeks and that is to get the LWRP working with Magic Leap. So a lot of people ask me, Dilmer, was that possible? Is it possible? And I got a lot of help from Magic Leap, don't get me wrong. I got a lot of help from a lot of people and I really appreciate those of you who helped me in trying to figure this out. So now what I want to do is actually show the community how we can get it working, what kind of things we can do, and some of the things that we can do is actually use the visual effects graph that Unit released recently on their latest version. So what I wanna do is walk you through the project setup, how we can get Magic Leap and also Unity, the latest version, set up with some of the beta versions that they have. And then by the end of this video, you should be able to use visual effects graph with LWRP and also Magic Leap to build your experiences. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at how we can do that. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing. We're going to open up the Unity Hub, click on New. And I want to name the project Magic Leap LWRP. And just keep in mind that I'm going to be putting this project in GitHub. So by the end of the video, you should be able to get this project by cloning it from GitHub. The location of the project is going to be in the description of this video. So I have two versions right now. I'm going to actually use 2019.1.0 B9. I haven't tested with the latest version of the, of basically the, the beta version. So I'm going to stick with this one for now. And I'm going to tell it which location I want it. So I'm going to put it on the games and that's going to be the project name. Then the next thing that I'm going to do, it's going to, I'm going to select the lightweight rendering pipeline and we're going to click on create project. And that's going to take just a few seconds here. So while that is loading, what I'm going to do is let's go into GitHub since I need to do that anyways. I don't want to have you waiting and we can go ahead and click on my name here and I'm going to create a new project. So it's going to do a new repository. It's going to be the Magic Leap LWRP and this is the Magic Leap Unity 3D project for testing LWRP shader graph and we can say vertex deformation since I'm going to have that shader as well in there included. And then the other thing that we need to do that is we need to add a get ignore. So I'm just going to search for Unity so that it adds the get ignore and then create a repo. Okay, so we have our new repo created. Just going to copy the location here. So you're welcome to try HTTPS. I'm always, I'm used to doing SSH. So we're just going to select the SSH and copy it. And looks like it's almost done. So the other thing that I'm going to do is now that that is created, let's go ahead and just clear everything and go into that directory. Excellent. And I'm just going to do a git in it to initialize it. The other thing that I need to do is I need to copy the oh actually I already created the git git ignore so I don't need to I don't need to add it so but that that's actually created on the on the remote so let's let's go ahead and add it so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna hit copy and then we need to go back one unity say unity VFX essentials and we'll just copy the git ignore for that project and paste it in this location. Excellent. It looks like it's completed. Let me just move it to my first monitor here. Excellent. And everything, just resize it. Okay, excellent. So we have it. And let me just see what I have going on here. So the project I created. Okay, I won't add it just yet because we need to make some, some changes. So now that I have created it, we have basically the, the basic scene. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the example assets. Also the post-processing, we don't need that. And we, we don't need the camera either because we're going to use a different camera. Nice. And I don't need the example assets. Also, I don't need the tutorial info. And let's go ahead and, and go into getting it started from Magic Leap. I'm going to put this link for you to refer if you need to get additional information. I already memorized everything that we need to do. And, and not because I have a good memory, but it's because I try way too many times. So I just got to copy this. Basically, we're going to be copying that URL for the registry and then pasting that into our packages manifest. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to open up code. 
and it's going to go into assets, actually packages, manifest, and, and I believe this is a bug in, in the version of Unity right now that works with Magic Leap. So for now, you need to add it, but later you probably won't, won't need to add it. Okay, now that I have that selected, we can go back into Unity. And I'm going to do a couple of changes in Unity. So let's go ahead and kind of move this window here. And we don't need the asset store. Okay, and then just resize this right here. I don't need the readme either. In fact, we don't need any of these files in under settings. And presets, we don't need presets either. I just want to keep it clean so that when we when I check it in, everything is set up and ready for you. Okay, and I'm just gonna call this scene default scene. Let's go into file, build settings, and make sure that we have that default scene added. So the other thing that I need to make sure that we have added is that we change this to Lumin. So I'm just gonna change it to Lumin and then switch platform. Should take a few seconds here. Once this is completed, we're gonna go and focus on the on few settings on their player settings and also bringing in new packages. Okay, so it looks like that completed. It's actually faster than I thought. Okay, let me just go ahead and go into project settings. I didn't show you how to get there. Let me go file, build settings, and then player settings. Make sure that you have Lumen selected. And that will open up this window that I have right here. So I wanna change a couple of settings in here. So I'm gonna change the company name, which is gonna be Dilmer Games. This is gonna be the same. I like to start at 1.0.0. .0. We don't need to set any icons right now. I don't need to do anything on resolution. Splash image is fine. We don't need to do anything there. Let me make sure that auto graphics. And let's see, that's fine. We can we can uncheck auto graphics API. Let's go ahead and, and look at our Mac version as well and check it. Metal is fine to be the default. In fact, you wanna make sure that you have metal set. And if you're using Windows, of course, you have to use the ones that Windows support, which is Direct 3D 11 or DirectX 11. Okay, so I just, I just wanted to make sure that that was the, the, I found an issue, if you don't have metal selected and you're using Mac OS, you won't be able to see the visual effects. So make sure that you have metal as the first one because that's what's gonna allow you to see the, the basically the visual effects that you're creating. So it looks like that's good to go. Then now let's go ahead and change. So I go back into Lumin, change the, bundle and on this one I ju I'm just going to do LWRP and the version name I'm going to do 1.0.0 make sure that you have for that X on the .NET selected and I think everything else looks good the certificate I'm going to select my certificate so I have that under my Dropbox and then the Elmer Games and Magic Leap certs if you haven't watched a video about creating a cert, make sure that you watch that. Uh, it's one of my previous videos, so I'll put it in the description as well. Okay, and then XR settings. Let's not do this just yet. Let's go ahead and add a couple of more packages. Go to Window, Package Manager. Make sure that you click on Advanced and Show Preview Packages. Okay, let me just make this a little bigger so that we can see more of what we need to do here. So the first one that you need to do is the XR Legacy Input Helpers. So I'm just gonna install that one. And it looks like it's now installing. And we should be done in just a second. Let's go ahead and, and add our, Git, our GitHub remote while that is loading. I hate waiting, to be honest. Let's go ahead. Okay, so I already initialized this, I believe, as a git, git, yeah, I did, okay. So now I'm just gonna do git remote our origin. This is gonna be our origin, and then we can we can leave it at that. Okay, so now let's go back into Unity and look at our package manager. So I have the XR legacy input helpers installed. So now what we need to do is we need to install the lightweight rendering pipeline. But if you don't select show preview packages, you won't see the version that you need for what we're gonna be doing. So make sure that you have that selected and select 5.10.0. Then we're gonna just click on update to update it. And that is the key though, like we need to make sure that you use that version because that version is the one that includes the files that we're gonna need 
in order for us to run visual effects graph all right so that is updating and then when that one is completed we're going to do the shader the shader graph and visual effects graph so it gets going still and updating okay there we go okay so now it's importing it should be done in a few more seconds here all right and looks like we are completed okay excellent now let's do the next package so the next package is going to be the visual effects graph and we're going to use the preview 510 which is going to which is basically matching the one that we did for the rendering pipeline then click on install to install it and that shouldn't take more than a few seconds either looks like it's almost done it's installing all right so it looks like it's almost completed now it's importing scripts and it's going to import probably some of the shaders that it includes that's compiling and we should be done in just a few more seconds and yep it's importing shaders all right so it looks like that's completed so now let's do the last one which is going to be shader graph so let's see where shader graph is you're probably seeing it and i don't see it okay it's right here and let's do the same version so it's going to do 510 also let it install it looks like that one is super fast it's probably small okay so it looks like we're good to go with packages now what i'm going to do is we still have the project settings selected and then player now what i'm going to do is click on virtual reality supported we're actually going to select single pass instance and it's going to import some additional components that we're going to need and okay and if i remember correctly if you don't do this you're going to be missing a lot of the unity xr magic leap namespace dependency so make sure that you have this selected otherwise that's gonna that's not gonna come in and if you have that issue what i what i did in the past is actually close out of, out of unity reopen unity and then try to check it again the other issue that i found too that if you if you do these right before right after you do the rendering pipeline sometimes there is issues with you know having a rendering pipeline and being able to check that so if i had selected a rendering pipeline i wouldn't be able to select the virtual reality checkbox so because i haven't added it yet that means that i can check it so now what i can do is go into assets settings and then create rendering and this is going to create the right the lightweight rendering pipeline asset and i'm just going to leave it by default and then now we can go back into per settings graphics and then select it and that should be good to go there now the next thing let's go into vfx and change these to lwrp if you notice the path that it has let's go into that so that i can show you that this is available now as far as the visual effects graph if i go into shaders and so it's actually shaders rendering pipeline and you can see rendering pipeline available for shader for visual effects graph is hdrp also lwrp and legacy so let's change this to lwrp excellent and i think we have everything that we need in order to run to create an effect so before we do that let's go ahead and import the magic leap package that we're going to be needing so to do that let's go ahead and go into package manager for magic clip open it up and if you haven't downloaded make sure that you download it and i'm assuming that you also downloaded the sdk 0.20.0 which is the latest one i'm also assuming that you did the same thing with the unity basically the unity magic clip unity package if you haven't done so just go ahead and do it and pause the video and then once you continue then you should be able to just click on open folder and then double click it it'll basically start open it in unity and then show you everything that it's going to import then what i'll do is just click on import to import it 
Now let's write in package items and importing all the assets. So this is the package that Unity provides to communicate with our SDK. So it's all written in C Sharp and there's a lot of different examples in there that I've been using for some of my experiences. Okay, looks like it's importing everything. So while that's going, let me show you, because I have a shader and also a VFX, a visual effects that I already created. And that is in my desktop, so I actually have two. So what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and grab, we're gonna be grabbing both of them, and also the formation shader that I have. So let's just wait until we're done importing the Magic Leap package. You can also, oh, let's just wait until it's done. So I'm a programmer, so I'm, I'm very anxious to, to get things going fast and I should probably wait. <laughs> okay, so it looks like that's almost done here. So we should see a Magic Leap package as soon as that's completed. And looks like it's almost there, importing a few more things. There we go, so look, looks like that piece is done. The reason why I wanted to do this is because we're gonna need the camera. We're also gonna need a few more things, so let's go into scenes and let's just pick a random scene here and just do the placement. And I'm gonna copy the structure. I really like the structure the Magic Clip has. So I'm just gonna copy those two game objects, go back into our default scene, paste them in there. And I think we already have, yeah, let's just delete our cam or light. We can use their camera. In fact, what I'm gonna do is delete the camera. We don't need the canvas either. And then delete everything that is inside of content. So we just we should have a content game object, a rendering game object, directional light, and then I'm just gonna search for main. That's gonna give us uh, basically a, a default camera that the Magic Leap provides. So it looks like that's good, everything is good there. Yeah, I also wanna make sure that you check these pieces here. You should have everything here. There shouldn't be anything like missing a behavior or anything like that. If you have something like that, that means that you missed a step. Okay, so it looks like that's good. I don't need to have project settings open anymore. So we can focus on this area. All right, so I have my camera here. I have my light. In fact, we can probably just move the light up so that we see Two different components and okay so i think i have everything so let's just create a new folder for the effects we'll just call them effects let's call it visual effects because that's what they are and let's create one for also one folder for shaders not a script let's go ahead and delete that create folder shaders and i'm going to go into my shaders folder drag and drop the deformation shader and let's wait until that gets imported okay and just to double check the shader graph basically installed correctly double click on that deformation shader and then basically our, our shader should load it looks like it did load so what i'm going to do on the shader before we keep going i'm going to change the default values because i want to see let's just do five on the time speed and then on the scale, just gonna do three on the noise. There we go. So we can see some changes. Okay, now we can close out of that shader. And yes, I do want to ch change that ch shader. All right, so that's fine. Now let's go into visual effects. Go ahead and import my two visual effects that I have here. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna double click on some of those effects. In fact, we actually don't need to double click. This is something that I found out that is really cool. You can actually see a preview. So that is one of the effects that I have. And then this one, it's a lot cooler. It's another one, another effect. So this one is very subtle. In fact, we can, we can actually go in and, and make it cooler. So let's double click to open it up. And if everything works, shader graph should load. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put shader graph right there and we can actually split the view here and excellent so what i'm going to do here is we're going to create a new let's create a new game object an empty game object i'm actually going to create two so we can call one one vfx1 and then the other one is going to be vfx2 and then on vfx1 and i'm actually going to offset him a little bit because i want the camera 
to be able to see those because we're going to be trying these in the device in just a few minutes. And then for each one of them, I'm going to create a new visual effect. The first one, we're going to associate it with the first one, and you can kind of see that it's showing already. And then VFX2, we're going to do the same, the same thing. Select the one that is associated with it. And this one is just basically way, way strong. So I'm just going to move it back. And yeah, we can probably just resize it a tiny bit. It's just way too big. And we can resize it a little bit more. Because when I'm walking around my, my office, I want, I want to make sure that I can see it. And it's not this huge thing that is on the way. So I'm just going to, I'm going to paste couple. Paste this one right here. And then we can rotate it. There we go. And we also have this other one that is very subtle. So these two we can call, we can rename. And this one to be also two. This one also two. This one we can move up. So there we go, something like that. Right about there. Excellent. So now that we have this VFX one selected, let's just change it a tiny bit. Because it's just it's just too boring. And what I'm gonna do is let's actually disable the gizmo. Because I want to see what's happening here. So on the let's see what we can change. We can probably just change some of these settings on the intensity. Kind of see. I think the intensity works. The radius, probably change the radius a little bit more. There we go. You kind of see a little couple of sparkles falling. I think that's fine. Okay, I don't think I'm going to make any more changes to this. And then what I'm going to do is we can close out of this guy. And there we go. Wait until it's close. All right, we have the three different visual effects on the back and then these visual effects in front. Excellent. And then we also have our camera that is sitting right here. We can probably move this one down a little bit more. Excellent. And I think we're good to go as far as what we need to do. So the next thing that I want to do is, is actually build this to the device so that we can see we can see those and see how those look. Let me go ahead and double check one more thing before we do that. I'm going to go into player settings and make sure that I change everything that I needed to change. So I have my certificate here. I have these piece here as well. Excellent. And OK, I think I think we're good to go. So let me go ahead and, and jump into, you know, the magic leap and build it to the device. And then I'll show you how the how that actually looks like. All right, guys, so let me show you how the scene looks like. So I'm going to open Magic Leap. You can see the particles on the on the top there. You can see one also on the right hand side, which they look really beautiful. You can see that one and that one as well on the left side. And there's actually one on the very top too, which is a circle. Awesome. So that's basically the scene for now. I, I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did creating it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. And also make sure that you check GameDev.net, which is one of my sponsors. And I really, really hesitate the importance of going to their site, checking them out because they have amazing resources for game developers. So if you guys have any questions, any additional questions about anything that I mentioned today, let me know through the comments and don't forget to subscribe and share this video.